Welcome back, guys. Johnny Keck over at Amp Futures. And we're going to take you into the first uh, entry strategy that we're going to go over called the breakout strategy. Uh, so we've already covered an introduction on what we're going to discuss in this coming segment in regards to the entry and exit strategies within multicharts.net, AMP exclusive platform for free. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize this dome here for a second and blow up the chart. And let's get right into it. So the breakout strategy is going to be the icon that's like located in the place order section on the right side chart trader panel, which you're going to see that will say BRK. All right, so let's go ahead and read a short description. Now, what I would highly recommend if you're always wondering what the exit strategy or entry strategy will do, just be sure to left click any of the icons within the section itself. You'll see that it's highlighted. And then when you see it's highlighted, just hover your mouse cursor over the icon and it will tell you a short description of what that strategy is going to do. So in this case, breakout strategy, places OCO orders a buy stop order above the market price and a sell stop order below the market price Depending on the price movement, either a buy or a sell is executed and the other one is canceled. It's often used when a trader wants to enter a position at a certain price, but is not sure which way the price will go. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the breakout strategy. We're going to highlight it by left clicking as we have already done. The next step is we're going to right click with our mouse and we're going to go to edit. All right, when you go to edit, what's going to happen is it's going to pull up a strategy parameters breakout dialog box. And from this section here is where you're going to be able to set the actual prices of where you would like the buy stop and the sell stop to be placed when you enter the strategy. So there's multiple ways of implementing the strategy based on the values that you can use. The first way, for example, would be if you want to do it based on ticks. If you do it based on ticks, as you can see in this example here, this will be based off the last trade price. So in this example here, if I left these values as is, this means that my buy stop will be placed 19 ticks above 2074.75, or if I left the breakdown at, which is the sell stop, it would be 39 ticks below 2074.75, which is a sell stop. So essentially what the breakout strategy is doing, it's going to allow you to place a buy stop above the current market price to anticipate a breakout to the long side, or place a, also simultaneously placing a sell stop below the market price, anticipating a short breakout trade. Now, if you're unsure which way the market's going to break, you don't know if it's going to break the long side or the short side, what you have essentially is two working orders that are, that are basically waiting to catch either, either, either end of the breakout. And what happens is if either one of those orders get filled, the other remaining order will automatically get canceled. And that's the, uh, that's the whole idea of using the entry strategy so you have an OCO implemented for both stop entry orders. Okay, so you, have, you can either set it based on ticks if you don't want to set it based on ticks, you can left click where it shows tick, and you can see that it changes by percentages. If you, if you decide to use percentages, it'll be based off percentages of the last trade price. I find it for myself, just personal preference, a little easier either using it, the, the actual tick value, or you can use the direct price option, which means that you can specify exactly what price you want the buy stop and the sell stop to be placed at. Uh, for me, this is usually my, my first preferred method because it's very direct. And the one thing that I, I, I some find, sometimes find that could be an issue is if you're trading during the day when the markets are very volatile and markets are bouncing around really quickly, if you decide to use either the percentage or tick value to set your values, they can change depending on what the market's doing as it's trading. So that, that sometimes can be an issue. So for example, if I were to put 10 ticks and 10 ticks as a hypothetical example, the market all of a sudden moves to 75, now I'm going to be, you know, not initially, it's not going to necessarily be 10 ticks from 74 to 75 because the market moved within that split second while I was placing the trade. So that's why sometimes having direct price might be a little more easier because you know exactly what prices those buy, the buy stop and the sell stop is going to be entered at. So, but I do want to show you that you have basically three different methods. You can either set it by ticks, percentages, or direct price. So in this example for now, I'm going to go and just choose the direct price model instead. So let's say if we want to place a buy stop at 2081. So I'm just going to simply type in 2081 under the breakout at field. And then I'm going to say we're anticipating a sell stop short entry to be at 2067. So I'm going to go and type in 2067. And now you can see those prices have been implemented. When you implement the prices, these ticks will automatically adjust depending on what values you set here. If you hit more parameters, this gives you the ability to select how many contracts you want to execute for the strategy or what type of order, whether it's day order, good till cancel, good till day, and so forth. For now, I'm just going to leave these parameters as is, and I'm going to hit save. All right, and now what we can do is there's two ways of implementing the breakout strategy once you apply the values and set the, the actual values themselves. 
you can either use the drag and drop method. So the drag and drop method is exactly what I want to do now. I'm going to take my mouse cursor, left click over the breakout strategy, hold down my left click, drag it right onto the chart, and drop it anywhere. You're going to get the confirmation. Okay, are you sure you want to do this? Let's look at our prices. That is correct, 81 and 67. We're going to hit play strategy. And now as you can see, there's a buy stop at 2081, and now there's a sell stop at 2067. Okay, so the idea here is if the market moves in either direction, let's say it hits the breakout to the long side, then this sell stop is going to get canceled automatically, or vice versa, if the market comes down and breaks to the short side down here, it's going to automatically cancel the buy stop up here. To prove to you that the, the OCO is in effect, I'm going to cancel one leg of the, of the actual OCO order, and you'll see the other stop order get canceled automatically. And there we go. So that's pretty much how you apply the breakout strategy. That's the drag, drag and drop method. If you prefer, you can right click on the exit strategy and you can also select apply strategy. And then you'll see the same exact values and parameters are going to be present. And then all you just have to do is once you confirm everything is correct, just hit play strategy. And now you can see the strategy has been entered. All right, so you can modify the orders. You, this is because you have the orders placed does not mean that you cannot modify the orders. So if I left click, drag and drop, you can see that I'm able to move the strategy. That does not affect the OCO. However, if you straight cancel the order, it will affect the OCO because you're canceling the OCO itself. So if you modify the order just by simply left click, drag and drop, then you're not gonna have any problems uh, at least getting the orders to modify without compromising the OCO strategy. And this concludes the breakout strategy, a very simple entry strategy that's available within multicharts.net. And uh, this is an example of exactly how to complete that process. We'll see you in the next strategy, uh, the next video segment, guys. We're going to be covering the fade strategy, which is the exact opposite of a breakout strategy. Thank you.